What is up, YouTube? We're back again for some show and tell. We know, I know, you're dying for some show and tell. I know you're hanging to see the kitty. So let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do it. It's Thursday. It's show and tell time. Let's do it now. What up YouTube? Cheers for joining us. If you haven't subscribed yet and it's your first time watching the Aussie VHS Thrifter, then don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell icon so you can see when all this content comes out. And you can see ride alongs, you can see show and tell, and coming when the footy season starts, we're gonna be doing a punt club, a punt club for football lovers. Make some money gambling. And don't forget all the lives. Anyway. Let's not talk shit. So myself and Kelly went op shopping. We went thrifting, op shopping, whatever you want to call it. We went to two different stores on the weekend, Saturday, and they were both dog shit. Dog shit. Very disappointing. Kelly ended up in the fucking car playing SimCity. She was bored out of her fucking mind, man. I found one thing. One thing out of two stores. Five dollars for this... Crapashians, crapashians, crap, crap, crapdashians, shitashians. More money than brains. I bet you it's fucking hollow inside that fucking head. I can't fucking stand this show. And keeping up with the Kardashians? I don't want to keep up with them. If they were fucking driving in front of me, I'd be fucking overtaking them. I don't want to keep up with them, I want to fucking overtake them. Anyway, this has got special features in it. Look at them fucking posing. Fucking poses. I fucking hate you. This box set was five bucks. It's seasons one to four in it. And uh, that was inside there. It must be like a belt buckle or something. I don't know what it is, but some type of belt buckle. So that's Dumbass Fuckhead season one to four. So what I'm going to do is... That $5 goes into the cost of uh, what we uh, spent for this haul. But uh, nothing goes in the kitty for this one because we want to try and collect up about 10 or 15 seasons and then sell them as one big bulk for like 100, 150 bucks or whatever. So that goes down into my pile of TV series box sets that I'm collecting cheap. Now in no order because it's all mixed up, but then uh, I went to the markets on uh, Sunday and... Um, yeah, I went to two different markets and I got some good shit. So let's have a look what we got. So I got these two Star Wars DVDs. Um, three, three movies in that one, three movies in this one. They'll go for 10 bucks each. I've already got this one uh, that I got from that big lot. And I've only just listed it. I'm pretty bad at uh, listing some stuff. So they were a dollar each. And uh, they will go for 10 bucks each, those. Easily. Plus... Shipping. They will pay their own shipping. Next I found for one dollar this uh, Lord of the Rings Two Towers DVD. Uh, that will get lotted up with um, from that big haul I got from that bloke. Um, I actually have two of the others and this is the one that I needed. Um, special edition box set so I'm not sure how much I'll get for the three of them lotted up together. So I'm not going to put that in the kitty. That's not going to go in the kitty. But I'll definitely put the cost to today's. We got uh, a box set of Monty Python uh, collection DVDs. Got this for a buck as well, dollar dollar as well. Uh, they'll go for twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Um, it's roughly selling around fifteen to twenty. So I'm going to do some undercutting. So I'm going to undercut the shit out of my opponents, and we're going to put this at fifteen dollars. So fifteen bucks for the kitty. So that hopefully will sell straight away. Got these two Family Guy uh, seasons, season 10 and season 8. I think it was last week's episode I got the first six seasons or the first seven seasons. I can't remember. Um, at a dollar each. These were a dollar each as well. Um, I'll put the total of these, what I spent in the uh, total today. But these aren't going in the kitty either. Because I want the full sen 10 seasons uh, to lot them up. So I think I need seven and nine 
or just season nine now. Um, so that's pretty cool, and I'll be able to get some dosh for that. So no money in the kitty for these ones, but for future lotting up, dollar each, can't, can't complain. Uh, I took a wing on this. I didn't look it up when I was there, um, seeing as I have sold some CDs for like $40 and all of that uh, last month. So this gate crash is digital. I'd never heard of it before. Um, it's all in there. And this is going for ten, fifteen dollars. So I'll put it at ten bucks, get my one dollar back plus nine dollars on top. We're not. Remember, I don't take out um, the fees and all that because, fuck, I can't add all that shit up. I don't. I'm not, I'm not that great with that. So um, I just get my fees bill at the end of the month and pay it. So it's all good. Don't make me do maths. Don't make me fucking do maths. I don't want to do it. So ten bucks for that. I'm happy with that. Bit pissed off about this. Uh, I thought I was getting a great bargain from this lady. Eight uh, discs, Daria. Full uh, animated series. And there is dis one missing disc. And another missing disc. It's missing two discs out of the eight. So. Damn, I threw it and it shattered and I just realised I could probably use that fucking eight disc case for something else and I fucking shattered it. But that's okay. That was two dollars. So that's two dollars down the drain. Dog shit. Dog shit. So this kid was selling off all his DVDs, getting some pocket money. Good on him. That was Simpsons Season 5, Simpsons Season 4, and Simpsons Season uh, 3. Cover's a bit busted on that one though. They were all a dollar each. They were a dollar each. I think I've got season 12 or something up there uh, waiting to get more box sets to do a big lot. So uh, they were a dollar each. There's three bucks to go in my spendings. But once again, they're not going to go in the kitty. They're for future uh, lotting up. And uh, I think I've done well to get a uh, dollar each for those box sets. Uh, and everyone loves The Simpsons. That same kid sold me King of the Hill season one box set. You don't check when you go to the markets. You just don't check. And uh, no discs in all three of them. All three DVD covers, there's no disc. I only paid a dollar for this. I would have got 20 bucks for this as well. And I wasn't even going to sell this actually. I was going to give this to my best mate's wife because uh, li literally the day before uh, when we went and visited them, they said they were looking for this and I was stoked to find it. And there's no discs in it, so... There's another one, dollar down the drain. Now, two Aussie thrifters, shout out to two Aussie thrifters. I would never have brought this if I had never seen on their channel, uh, Jazz picked this up. Jazz has picked up this a few times um, when I've watched their channel. Um, so these Gregory books, that's good. Shared knowledge, that's what I always say. Uh, this one I got for two bucks. Um, shit ass car, absolute fucking crap car. No one is really going to be really looking for this. None have sold on comps. Uh, people are selling it for about 15 bucks. So, uh, I'll put it for $15 to start off with. Probably only get $10 for it, but we'll chuck 15 in the kitty because, uh, it might eventually go. Not bad for my first one. This was cool when I found this. This was cool. A bit of dust on it. I was actually pretty, uh... Stoked I found this, but then with the uh, amount of money that it's worth, it's not worth as much as I thought it was going to be worth. How cool is that? It's eight, oh sorry, eight, ten. ESPN Boxing Greatest Champ. Oh, got the hiccups. ESPN's Boxing Greatest Champions, ten discs, limited edition. Muhammad Ali, Marciano, uh, we got Tyson, Lewis. It's pretty cool, pretty cool box set. She took five bucks for that. She took... Five dollars. Oh shit, this was the same girl that fucking uh, sold me Daria. Son of a bitch. So she scored an extra two bucks off me for that. So five bucks for this anyway. Pretty cool. This one only goes for about 40 to 50 dollars. A lot of people have it, uh, plus shipping. A lot of people have it uh, for 50 and 60 and 70. Um, I'm going to put mine straight up at 50. So I'm hoping to get 50. I'll be happy with 40. Five dollars into forty bucks, you you're laughing anyway. So I'm happy with that. That's pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. Sometimes you just need a half time break. A half time break 
in between show and tell. To my international viewers, how could you not like a beautiful spoonful of Vegemite? Mm, mm, mm. Vegemite. Vegemite. B1, essential for the brain function. B2 supports the nervous system. B3 is essential for energy. And folate helps fight fatigue. Some people have it on toast. Some people have it any way they want it. But I like a good spoonful of it. Good shit. Oh, it's really rich without toast, but they're really good. Oh, man. All my vitamin Bs. All my vitamin Bs. Is it in my teeth? If you're not a happy little Vegemite and you live in Australia, let's continue. All right. I got this clock radio for $5. This clock radio, I haven't checked out to see if it works yet, but the old grandma, she told me it works. And I trust grandmas when they sell something to me. Grandmas wouldn't lie. Grandmas don't lie. So just remember when you're buying something from a granny, she doesn't lie. So one had sold, I think it was in America when I looked at the comps. I think it was, uh, and I put in, it came with a manual. Where is the manual? It came with the manual and this is a Philips. A Philips. And I typed in the, um, whatever the fuck it is. And uh, one is sold in America, and I think that went for about $30, $40. But then they had like $50 shipping on it. So I reckon I can get about 50 bucks for this. I'm pretty sure I can get about 50 bucks for this. 40 I'm going to put down 40 for the kitty, but I'm going to put it online for 50 40 for the kitty. Yeah, 40 for the kitty. Mmm, mmm. That delicious Vegemite is in my mouth. I think there's still some on the spoon. It really is good shit. How can you internationals not like it? It's beautiful. All right. Found this Star Wars uh, Build the Millennium Falcon Deluxe Paper Kit. kit, kit paper Kit. Paper Kit model. Uh, two bucks. Pay for this. It's brand new. Sealed still. I can get 15 bucks for this. 15 to 20 dollars. A lot of people have it listed. And none have sold. So I think I'm actually... Uh, I'll put the two dollars that I spent in there. That's fine. Um, if I don't list it, I'll give it to one of my, uh, friends who, um, likes, uh, building Star Wars stuff. But at this stage, we're going to hope that it sells and I'll do it for 15, just like everyone else. So 15 bucks for the kitty. I'm not putting this dollar in the kitty, but I'll show you anyway. I'll show you anyway. Uh, just a seen it game. This was a dollar, uh, seen it movies. Me and Kelly are going to play the shit out of this. This is going to be fun while we drink. I'm actually looking forward to this. Might even use it for trivia night when we uh, do Chase the Ace. How about that? Alright, I got these two Star Wars games. Uh, PC games. Empire at War and then the expansion pack. They were a dollar each. Um, and they're both in there with the full manuals and all that. Uh, I was looking at comps for these. And a lot of people have been kind of selling them together. Um, a little confused what to do, so I'm, they've been selling for about 15 bucks each to $20 each. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to lot them up as like either $25 or $30 for the two of them. Because you'd want the expansion pack if you brought the normal ones. So, dollar each, two bucks spent there for 30 bucks. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this was a dollar. I love my fucking Ninja Turtles. Uh, Turtles Forever, this is when they go into time and the new turtles, the shit ones, meet the fucking wicked old ones. Have not seen this myself, so I'm going to watch this myself. Uh, that was a dollar, it goes for ten bucks. Uh, I'm not going to keep it for my turtle collection, unless it is fucking awesome. But uh, I really don't like the new turtles, so we'll see. If I really like it, I'll keep it. But this will be ten bucks and this will sell pretty fast at ten bucks. Four more things. A lot of DVDs uh, when you go to the markets. And our markets uh, do have a lot of DVDs. And you will pick them up for 50 cents and $1 and all that. And it, it's wicked. Markets are so cool. Like, usually I'll find toys and loose toys and plush toys and all that. And this time it just happened to be DVDs. And usually I don't come home with any DVDs. But this time I've just fucking, I've just been swamped with DVDs. Which is, it's pretty cool. So I've got this Three Colors Trilogy. 
I'd never heard of it before, but it sounded familiar, very familiar. This sells a lot uh, when I looked at comps. This is actually a really good seller. So if you see the Three Colors trilogy, grab it. Um, I will undercut you though. Don't undercut me. Uh, this is going for about 20 bucks and this will sell pretty fast, I reckon, at 20 bucks. So um, I won't get it listed till next month, seems as uh, I've got a lot going on at the moment. But um, yeah, 20 bucks there from $1. Uh, that's, that's, that's a good one. It's really amazing what you can find at the uh, the market so as well when you take a risk on some things and you're not looking it up like you do in the op shops, in the thrift shops. And um, you just take a risk and when you get home and yeah, you get ones when you're missing a disc and all that. Shit happens. Fucking shit happens. It's gambling. This is gambling. It's all gambling when you buy the stuff and hope that it sells. It's not all going to sell straight away. And yes, fees all come off it as well. But it's awesome when you do grab something and you find something and you're just amazed with like, oh wow, this DVD is $20 from one buck. Like, I'm not going to get greedy on and put it at 25 or anything like that. I'm going to take what it's kind of going for. But I will be greedy with this next one. Ernest stuff sells. Ernest, that is a fucking, he's a dickhead, this guy. He's a fucking dickhead. His shit isn't even funny. He's a fucking idiot. So, this five disc Ernest set, he gave to me for a dollar. This is still fucking plastic wrapped. It's got Ernest goes to the army. Ernest rides again. Ernest in Africa. Ernest goes to school. That is fucking dumb. It's stupid, that movie. Slam dunk Ernest. Fuck another one. It fucking, I'd, I'd rather punch myself in the dick. It's fucking, that's how bad these Ernest movies are. It doesn't have Ernest Goes to Camp on there. So I sold Ernest Goes to Camp on uh, VHS last month or the month before. I think it was the month before that. Uh, for 20 bucks, one of my 50 cent videos. People like Ernest stuff. I didn't realize Ernest stuff sells. So grab Ernest shit. Um, single discs I saw were selling for about $14, $15. And that was used as well. So I'm thinking I can get about 50 bucks for this. Someone did have it listed, I'm pretty sure, for 80 bucks. So uh, reality is one, two, three, four, five movies on there. They're going to pay their eight, nine dollars shipping. Um, if I put it at 50 bucks, that's 10 dollars a movie. That's a pretty damn good deal. If you like Ernest, hit me up. Doesn't smell, so it's all good. 50 bucks right there for the kitty. And this right here. This second last item, everyone. Angel Seasons 1 to 5 30 disc DVD set. Angel, 5 bucks for the complete set. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Look at this fucking goofy little head there. There's the box sets of all the fucking DVDs. So that's all the DVDs. I wonder what region it is. Region 4, pal. Region 4. Uh, booklet. The complete DVD collection booklets in there. Let's close that. Let's close. Up oh, that fucking angel crap. Five bucks for that. I'll get 70 to 80 dollars for this fucking box set. This is awesome find. Awesome find. Bit of a tear. Bit of a tear there as well. Bit worn. But that's alright. That's okay. So I'm going to put 70 dollars down the uh, kitty for this one. Because um, this would definitely sell pretty fast I reckon. I'm going to go with it selling pretty fast. So five dollars box set into uh, $70. And that's what I'm trying to say with uh, lotting up uh, and grabbing all these. Uh, when you go to thrift stores and you go to markets and all that and you see a TV series box set that you think, don't just grab any, that you think that you can end up finding the other seasons because you think you might see them. Simpsons and Family Guy and uh, South Park and Crapashians and, and Buffy's and all that type of shit. Um, you can lot them up, so grab them if they're a dollar each, the box sets. There's no harm in doing it. It's not breaking the bank. All right, now this next one was my favorite buy of the day. Favorite buy of the day. This is still brand new in the box. Limited edition. There's only 5,000 of them. 5,000 of them. Limited edition. It comes with a authenticity certificate. For this shit. This crap has an actual authenticity certificate in there. 
They wanted $35. I talked them into $25. This is the Care Bears Christmas Wishes Bear. Now you can all look it up on comps. You can all help me out here. Just type in Christmas Wishes Care Bear. This is the 2019 one. Okay. Little bit of box damage. Not too much. A little bit of a fucking tear there. Not too much box damage. It's a fucking real good piece, this one. Now they'll definitely be paying their 20 bucks for postage in this one. I'll be boxing the shit out of this. On the comps, some people have sold it for 150. Some people have sold it for 60. Some people have sold it for 100. Some people have sold it for 120. Some people have sold it for fucking 90. Some fucking people sold it for 70. Some other fucker has sold it for fucking 180. All over the place. All over the place. I'll put mine, because I'm going to make them pay their own postage. I'm going to put mine at 100 bucks. I'm expecting about 80. Because it's not Christmas anymore. It's not Christmas anymore. So, and it's the 2019 one. I did see, like, 2018 ones there and all that. But look. Only 5,000 of them. This is really, really, really cool. So, I'm going to put it up as 100 to start off with. I'll expect to get 80. But I'm putting 100 in the kitty. Because I want this to sell. Do you want it to sell? So there's a Care Bear. Fucking first Care Bear I've ever fucking brought. You little prick. It's not fucking Christmas anymore, man. Oh, he's my Christmas bear. He's my fucking Christmas bear. <laughs> really surprising how much fucking Care Bears are worth, man. People actually buy that shit. All right. All right. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's more Vegemite time. It's time to bring up the kitty. <laughs> Kitty, we spent, kitty, we spent $67 at the markets. That's a lot of money to spend at the markets before we go on our honeymoon, kitty. That's a lot of money, kitty. Kitty, put up how much? Kitty, put up how much we're going to make from all this when it sells? Before fees, before fees. <laughs> $45. Kitty doesn't lie. Kitty, you don't fucking lie. Now fuck off, Kitty. Fuck off, Kitty. Woo. Kitty doesn't lie. Kitty does not lie. $445 from $67 spent. Once this all sells. Before fees. Before fees. I'm happy with that. Garage sales kick ass over thrift stores. They kick ass. Now guys, if you haven't subscribed, like, put a little bell icon on, bing ding 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 ding. Do your old thumbs up and subscribe or you can just do what the fuck you wanna do because who am I to tell you what to do? If you like the content, you subscribe and you do all that jazz, all right? You do it all yourself. Just fucking subscribe. Help me fucking get up there, eh? That's it. That's it for this week's uh, content. I need to film what sold in December, and that will be a long video because I did sell a shitload in December. So I do need to film that and get that up for you. I do need to film my 19 questions, which I am not looking forward to. I have been stitched up, and I still and contemplating on it, so I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. Or I might take the suggestion from Game On Couple, uh, where I can make up some new questions. I might do that in February after my ho uh, honeymoon. So I might do that on my time off in February, if you can wait for my 19 questions then. And I'll change it up, uh, my 19 questions for you. If you want to get to know me a little bit more, I can answer some questions for you. I'll do it that way. Um, I'll tell you, how about instead of 19 questions, I'll tell you my story about that so you can know me a little bit more. I don't really want to tell you about my favourite candle scent. I fucking, candles make me sneeze. There you go, I've answered one question. Can I cook? Yes, I can damn cook. If 
fucking two minutes and 30 seconds for a damn good fucking crispy uh, sausage roll in the microwave. Mwah. Toast with Vegemite. Piece of piss. I can cook. Buy a chicken from the local Woolworths. Rip that up. That was 10 bucks. I just got a gourmet roast chicken. <laughs> uh, so I've only got this weekend free left to do thrifting. So next week you'll get two more videos. And then I'm going to take some time off. I'm going to take a few weeks off. And then I'll be back in February. And I'll do a whole heap of lives. Um, I'll show you some of my wedding wedding footage i guess if you want to see the wedding footage um and some of my holiday uh honeymoon and um i'll show you some water slide parks and all that that we go to and all that type of crap i'll show it all to you but we still got we still got time before uh all that still a while away kind of it's pretty close but not far away well anyway guys like subscribe do what the fuck you want thanks heaps for uh watching that was a pretty damn good kitty today don't forget don't forget to eat your veggie mite. As bright as bright can be. We all enjoy our veggie mites. Do you? Breakfast, lunch, and tea. Our mummies say we're growing stronger every single week.